Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Summonite 5! Today, we're in these sewers, helping out Atosh, trying to, um, save him from these guys over here. So we can only have four people in our party right now because we have Atosh actually in our active party, which is fine. I am going to leave Wooly out because the majority of these enemies have a resistance against uh, beast type or green magic. Yeah. Um, we're trying to save you. Like, you could say thank you. I mean, come on now. We're not getting in your way. Again, we're saving you from these nether beasts, but you don't really seem all that thankful about it. Let's go ahead and blast these guys over here. We only have to defeat the leader, and there are some enemies over here on the bottom uh, screen that may start bothering you. Um, so I'm going to have Atosh head down there, and uh, basically his job is to just keep them at bay. So, yeah. He also has counterattacking and things like that. Um, so that's basically what I'm going to be having him do. Can I actually hit it? No, I can't. So the other guys, they're just going to keep on heading over towards the leader because we can blast this leader with area of effect magic and really take him out very, very easily. Also, there's going to be more nether beasts appearing constantly. So this is going to be another battle that I'm not going to be defeating all the enemies. I'm pretty much just going to be going straight for the leader, um, if at all possible. Also, last time, we learned that Madow was assassinated, or at least the screen turned red, and we got a sword strike sound effect, so maybe he was killed? Maybe not. I don't know. But we'll keep that in mind. Wow. We're just really blasting our way through these guys. Let's see. Maybe uh, Callus can head over here. Can he actually... No, he's out of range. Um, Spinel, can you get him in range? I mean, it would be nice to kill these guys. Uh, if I use a um, blank flash, I could, but nah, I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just have you kill this guy. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to have uh, Soken head down here with Atosh just to give him a hand, just in case he needs it. Let's see. We'll get him right here in the thick of things. Hopefully everybody really starts attacking him, and then he's able to counterattack uh, as much as humanly possible. There we go. The extra brave condition is to have Atosh kill five of these enemies, so he may be able to do it down here, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Just like most um, fights, this is going to be another one where I'm probably more than likely going to have to do this um, on my own time, just kind of redo the battle. Also last time, Alexa and Veloss left Crimson Chain. They're going to become world-famous singers or something. We don't exactly know what they're going to be doing, but we do know that they are done with Crimson Chain. Oh, re really? You still can't get them? Okay, that's fine. Get over here, and uh, we'll use Golem. There we go. So, yeah. We also learned that they were kidnapped from a young age at some sort of camp or something like that. So, I kind of feel bad for them. Like, I don't want to see anybody get kidnapped and forced to fight against their will. It really does remind me a lot of what happened to, um, well, I'm not going to spoil anything. We'll just say, a character in Lunar 2. Oh, we're almost at that, uh, boss right there. Let's see. Uh, Soken, who am I going to have you fight? Uh, I could have him just kill you, but then again, I need to have Atosh get in the kills right now to hopefully try to get his extra brave condition met, but again, not really holding my breath. Is that everybody? Yeah. Okay. Also, we, I mean, we learned a lot of stuff last time. So another thing that we learned was that Spinel and Arca are able to somehow make this mystery light occur. And whenever they're, like, you know, talking about their friendship and how much they love each other and all that stuff, this mystery light happens, and it can get rid of these nether beasts. So we've come up with a better way of um, disposing of these beasts rather than absorbing them into our body or detaining them in a jail cell of some sort. So hopefully if we can learn how to control that power of theirs, um, we'll be able to get rid of these nether beasts a whole lot easier than we have been before. Uh, let's see, we'll use that. Take kick care of you guys. Let's get another kill for Tosh over here. 
I may have to heal him. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I. Oh, wow. Um, if I don't kill this leader, like, right now, I'm probably gonna have to heal him. So, let's see what I can't do. Use a blank flash, get all nine squares for 307 damage! Yeah. Area of effect magic is so incredibly overpowered in this game. I love it! So, yeah. Didn't fulfill the conditions. I'll be doing it off screen. It's the same conditions as usual. I told you how to do it. It's not that hard. But let's see what happens with the Tosh now that we've rescued him, saved him. Oh, the Nether Beasts are vanishing. Oh, yeah, that's true. There must be some way, something that we can do. Oh, you can't control it. You don't know how you were able to do it last time. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Just talk about how much you two love each other. It'll happen in two seconds flat. Oh, you have to seal up this whole area? What residence? There's nobody who lives here. This is like a sewer. Who's living in a sewer? Like, come on now. Unless you have to seal up the, um, you know, the, the land above it as well. Which I imagine they're talking about because... We seem to fight in a sewer quite a bit in this game. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure he's fine. Oh, that's true. Hmm. I wonder why they're after him. Okay, so pretty much just follow the reports of the Nether Beasts, and if we do that, we'll be able to find Atosh, because it seems that the Nether Beasts are after him. We also saw that he was injured last time, so I would imagine that that's happened by the Nether Beasts. But hopefully he doesn't get touched by them, you know, then he'll get infected since they need an open wound to uh, get into. I can only imagine that Gift is, you know, telling these Nether Beasts to attack Atosh from afar, but for whatever reason, they're not ordered to attack Arka and the rest of the summoners. Just a Tosh. He must have some sort of vendetta against him. Well, here he is yet again in the back alley. Yeah, if we're not fighting in a sewer, we're fighting in a back alley. And there's more of these guys. And yeah, he just keeps on getting attacked. Yeah, no kidding. Poor guy. We've got to do something to help him out. I mean, I, I mean, I know that he's not exactly a nice guy. He is kind of a bad seed. But there must be something that we could do to help him. I mean, I don't want to see him die. Oh, he's losing consciousness. Hey, hey! The Calvary's here! Yeah, um, he did kind of kidnap you, Ruli, and threaten to kill you earlier in the game. But sure, let's rescue him. <laughs> you rat bastard. Yeah, no kidding. Um, she kind of... Yeah, I don't feel bad about her calling you a rat bastard at all. You kind of deserve it there, Atosh. You know, since he was just attacked by that nether beast, don't you think that he'd be infected by the nether now? He was already, um, wounded earlier. <laughs> yeah, tie him on up. Oh. Um, he's kind of injured, but then again, last time Torque was injured, he was literally lying on the ground, bleeding profusely, completely eviscerated, and he joined us, and he helped fight, and then we never heard about that wound again, actually. That really was rather odd, I must say, now that I really think about that. We never did hear about that wound again. So, what do we gotta do here? Okay. Um... Uh, Oh, wow. All, everybody defeating three foes? That would take forever. A Tosh is critical. And we only have to defeat the leaders, and it's also an escort mission. We have to make sure that a Tosh is not incapacitated. Oh, just two leaders. And they're not big leaders, either. That's fine. Uh, the person I'm going to leave out of this fight is Soken, because a lot of these guys here have a resistance to yokai, or red-type magic. So, yeah, I'll bring in Ruli. Why not? <laughs> I can't even faint and pierce. Poor Tosh. Yeah. 
Yeah, but, um, again, we're saving your life. Why are you complaining about this? Like, you should be happy. This guy has issues. Okay, let's see. We'll probably get all three of them here with a nice blank flash. Nice! Hey, hey! And let's see what else I'm gonna do. Let's bring Callus over. He probably can't hit them, but I shall see. No, I can't hit him, so you're fine. Um, Ruli, let's bring her over. I could increase their range, though. That might be something that I do want to do. We'll try a Water Blast gun against them. Hey, they were weakened anyway, and even though they are resistant to that, I do want to use it because it is the cheapest multi-target attack I have. Most other multi-target attacks cost, um, what is it? They cost 25 MP, and that one only costs 20 MP. So, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Let's have a Tosh head over here so that he can start working on this leader over here to the right, and I'm going to have the rest of my party members start working on the leader uh, down there. So the other night, I had a game night at my house, and I invited some of my friends over, and we played this new game. It's by the makers, I believe, of Cards Against Humanity, and it's called Secret Hitler, and it plays kind of like The Resistance or Avalon, if you've ever played either of those games, but it's really a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. It's not a video game, it's a board game. Um, it can play anywhere between like 5, I believe, and 10 people. So if you have a big group, you get 7 people over. Um, it really is a whole lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I again recommend it. Let's bring Spinel over there. Let's have Atosh come over here and start blasting the crap out of this guy. I believe... Oh, I was gonna say that he's the leader, but I guess not. Okay. But we have these three guys down here. Let's see, we'll bring Ruli over there. Have her blast them as well. It's a flail shot. Awesome. And I bet you Callus can probably hit them all too. Uh, let's see. Yeah! Hey, we can! Awesome! You gained a lot of MP for that. And let's have uh, Arca bring on over here. There we are. I'll probably kill these leaders in the next turn. Uh, we shall see. But basically what happens with Secret Hitler is you have you're randomly assigned either to be a liberal or a fascist and one person is assigned to be Hitler and then the goal is to pass the liberal agenda while trying to find out who Hitler is and the fascists because they're trying to pass the fascist agenda. And you don't know who they are because like your role is assigned secretly in like a um, it's like hidden in like an envelope and um, there's different ways to figure it out depending on who is passing which agenda. So again, it's just a lot of fun and um, I do... Oh wow, that would like almost kill him, so I'm not going to do that. I was going to say I could just use... Um... You know what, let's try this. I have a good idea. Let's bring Spinel over here and then let's have her use Summon Assist. Have both of them go up. That should up my power. It didn't up my range though, so yeah. At least we can get some good damage there. But yeah, you try to figure out who Hitler is. If you are able to figure out who he is, you can um, also assassinate him. You can try to shoot him, but if but you don't want to shoot the wrong guy because you know you might shoot a liberal, and you don't want to do that because they're trying to pass that liberal agenda. And if um, I believe it's six fascist agendas get passed, then you lose the game. If five liberal agendas get passed, then you win the game. But there's something like 16 fascist agendas and only like six liberal agendas. So it makes it very difficult in order to pass those agendas, but it's still a whole lot of fun. I don't think that Atosh attacked that last time. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Please don't die! Please don't die! Ooh, hey, you didn't die! Sweet! Counterattack for the win! Yeah, didn't protect from critical state either, but again, I'll be redoing this battle um, off-screen. Whenever I show these battles on-screen, I'm not exactly going, like, slowly. I'm really trying not to heal, I'm trying not to use items, I'm trying um, to play it as offensively as humanly possible, just so that I can, um, you know, not spend forever and a day on these battles, because even with me going as offensively as possible, they still take quite some time. And I know that long battles like that could be 
um, pretty boring, especially if you really don't need to heal. I mean, again, this isn't like Final Fantasy Tactics or, um, what is it, Fire Emblem, where at the end of a battle, like, if somebody dies, you lose them forever. So, it's relatively easy, so I am going to play it offensively, and again, I will be going back and doing it, like, correctly off-screen. And honestly, if you just take your time and really group all your characters together, you can do it correctly. It just takes a lot of time to do it that way, and I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, a quick video, just kind of shortened to the point, is where it's at. I just don't like to waste time. Um, when recording videos is concerned. It just bugs me. I need to go check something out. Huh. Well, what do you need to go check out? Find out next time. Let's play Summonite 5. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.